it will be important to understand the difference between vaccination and monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are the ready-made antibodies prepared in the lab to fight COVID-19 infection. So it is a form of passive immunization which starts working as soon as it goes into your body. It can be given after getting infected. It is therapeutic which means it is useful in treatment of COVID-19 infection. Monoclonal antibodies are short-lived, usually stays in your body for 3 to 4 weeks only. On the other hand, vaccination is a form of active immunization, which means when the injection goes into the body, the body's immune mechanism gets activated, it forms B cells and T cell related immunity and it takes time to form. The antibodies which are formed by vaccination are usually long-lasting. Vaccination can be given as a preventive measure, it is not a therapeutic treatment which means it cannot be given to somebody who is already infected. After vaccination also if somebody gets infected and is in high risk category, they will be eligible to receive monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies will provide an extra boost to your immunity to fight the infection in early stage of disease. After receiving monoclonal antibodies, the vaccination should be deferred by 90 days. The possible side effects with monoclonal antibodies include nausea, vomiting, rash, loose motions, abdominal cramps and rarely anaphylactic reactions which is a kind of severe allergic reaction. In case of pregnancy and lactation, there is not sufficient data to formulate guidelines. The decision has to be taken on case to case basis by the treating clinician. If the benefits overweigh the side effects, it can be used in pregnancy and lactation.